Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I've got something really cool here that I've been wanting for a really long time. And I finally got one and I wanted to share it with you guys. So, r real quick backstory. My dad used to take me and my brother to the local tractor pools. Truck and tractor pools. They would be, um, they would be yearly and we were really into that stuff and it was so much fun as a kid going to Jessup Georgia to the uh, to the tractor pulls I remember them so so much it was so much fun um, early 80s um, back when you know this truck here would have been or this tractor here would have been uh, pretty popular I don't personally I don't know this uh, mess Meest, meester uh, brew but um, blazing bison I don't have any any clue about this tractor but I think it's really the only tractor pulling tractor that was ever produced I think as a model kit there were other pulling trucks like the orange blossom special um, Alan Gaines had that truck back in the 80s the orange blossom special it was a wheel stander exhibition truck it wasn't a real true pulling truck it wasn't for pulling distance it was for wheel standing and uh but I remember as a kid seeing these, uh, watching these on television, seeing seeing some of them in real life. Now where we went, we didn't see the multiple in, multiple engine supercharged. It was mainly the old uh, super stocks and stuff like that that um, were diesel and uh, very primitive stuff back in back in the uh, late seventies, early eighties, and and things like that. But yeah, so cool. I wanted one of these. My friend Tony Lancer. He and I, he'll come across things, and he sent me a picture of this the other day. He says, look what I just picked up. And my response to him is, uh, sell it to me. That's what my response to him was. And, <laughs> and he gave me a price, and I sent him the money. He sent me the kit. Anyway, he says, it looks like it's only missing one part. And it's not a, and, uh, fortunately, there's two parts of the one that's missing, and I guess I could cast one now that kind of has some casting ability. But anyway. I'm going to open this thing up and check it out, but first we'll check the box out. There is one letdown, and when we get into it, I'll, I'll kind of let you know what that what that is. I see some things that are uh, are just kind of funny, especially like check dude out. Let me get him focused in on you. Look at him. Wouldn't you want him driving your uh, multi-engine pulling tractor? And this dates to. 1986 so 1986 a little later than when we were we would go as a kid but this has Aries on the picture here he has three Aries uh, racing engines now Aries I don't know if you know much about uh, race Hemi engines just just only race I don't think Aries were even uh, cooled they were all just dry blocks as far as I know but Aries did things for pulling trucks and tractors and they also did boats I think that's the only two categories that Aries really ever went into but wow if you saw a tractor on the television or wherever and it was top-notch mark it down if it wasn't the banter brothers with their six Chevys it had an Aries in it so let's let's look at this thing it's, it's really it's a lot of redundancy in this kit if you know what I mean because of the three engines uh, uh, over and over just the different um, so first off is the big set of rear fenders very cool how would you like that big tire spinning you know back in the day they didn't even have fenders now I'm not saying this this predates me some I was watching recently watching some pulling trucks or some tractors from 1976 which is my birth year they didn't have fenders. I mean, he's sitting right beside, his elbow would hit the tire if he stuck it out too far. Very dangerous. Um, safety has come quite a long way. Um, and it is a great benefit for the drivers. I see something in the back here. Guys, never throw the bags away until you've really looked through them. What I found here is a distributor. Let's see if I can get... There's a little distributor here. That would have been easily thrown in the trash can. So let's look at some parts. There's the main frame here. Main, ch well, I don't know, frame, chassis, whatever. Here's your main frame rails. There is a, 
I'm not sure what. Let's see if I can get in here and show you. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. But it's supposed to be something. Maybe just weight. Maybe. I don't know what that is. No earthly idea. Um, fire extinguisher. Front axle. It looks like the steering there as if it had... Um, it did. Looks like it did have a little rack and pinion in there. Huh, pretty cool. So a rack for the steering. These four wheel, looks almost like wheel hubs, but I don't think that's what that is. Maybe I'll see what that is later into it. Here we have Mr. <laughs> Mr. Driver himself. He's ready to go uh, attack the track. He doesn't quite look like the guy on the box. The guy on the box, although he's kind of wonky looking, he's about to lose his glasses. He better hold on to them. So we've got the seat, the race seat, the, the character with his arms, um, the uh, dash instruments that would stand up like this. There's a tachometer and uh, three different, looks like on switches. Got some fuel tanks. Looks like a... Oh, it's a wagon. Oh, we have a, a little, a red, red, what is it, a red rider? No. What, darn, I forgot what the wagons are called. But anyway, here's the axle for the wagon. Um, that was probably to carry his starting equipment, the wagon is. And uh, the, the fuel tank's here. I was, a, I, I just, I still love truck and tractor pulls. Just love them. Um, those things are fascinating. Most of them are completely custom made. There are your wheel stand bars. I wouldn't say wheelie bars because, but those are to keep the tractor from turning over and killing the, the occupant on the tractor. Before they had roll cages. Now they're all uh, mandatory roll cages. So around the driver would be a, uh, a, uh, a roll cage. He would be seat belted in and things like that. The video I was watching earlier in the week was of 1976 those guys didn't have any seat belts or anything it was actually really dangerous looking so we've got the rear differential here some massive gigantic um differential um for these trucks they did not have positive traction by the way i mean these tractors no positive traction on these tractors because you had to be able to steer it with the back wheels as the front wheels were off the ground and if you'll notice this guy's foot is on the turning brake so you had two turning brakes, left and a right. And as the tractor goes down the track, he could steer it with the turning brakes. This looks like part of the um, gear transfers or whatever the box where the drive shafts come in. And uh, then it transfers down to the, uh, to the, to the, uh, the axle. Um, very cool. I'm, I'm going to have to cast some of these. Aries Hemi. Let me zoom or uh, focus it for you. Don't, there it is. Aries Hemi. So you've got Aries race engine. You've got three of them here, which are not painted. They would be aluminum block engines. They're all aluminum. The valve covers would be black. They're hemispherical uh, engines. So you've got the Aries uh, valve covers here. You have your um, your valley cover for the intake and then you have the intake itself um what else there's three batteries there's your your um distributor distributor that's in the over here and then another distributor in the cylinder heads not the greatest detail on the on the engine but that's okay and here is there's a toolbox some not sure what this um drilled out part is or these things i have no earthly idea oh these are going to be the drive shafts for the engines i think those are going to come out of the bell housings um these engines all run in series you know one to so one would um not that you got to know this but it's cool but You'll have one that runs to the next and it will be on a drop box and then the these two run together and it goes into the third which has another drop box they're all tied together as one unit um, they all spin at the same rpm and uh, they all 
uh, one blows up it, it still goes because you have the other ones here are the the front weights I won't take them out of the bags just because there's no need to but these are the weights that go on the front of it because they have to choose how much weight they're going to put they can only they they can't so in the tractor like a race car you you have to you you have to weigh a certain amount like let's say 2400 pounds a race car a certain class can't weigh below 2400 pounds well with a pulling tractor weight is an advantage so you you have to you can't weigh more than a certain amount but they do have when they have lead way with how much weight they can add weight to the front to try and balance that ride out they say the perfect pull and if there's any pullers out there in youtube land they say the perfect pull is like 18 inches front wheels about 18 inches off the ground because that's going to transfer all the weight to your rear wheels it's not going to um it's not going to allow your uh front wheels to touch and it's going to have all that force down so here are the very rudimentary superchargers i'm not going to take these out of the bags either don't really see a need for that rudimentary superchargers it would be cool if i could find three um uh 3d printed aries engines for this thing well that would be awesome you've got your nice chrome blower belt which shouldn't be chrome um, just the pulleys would be chrome you have the injector uh, hats the supercharger and the zoomies which are really cool zoomies they look great um, a few other parts here the back of the blower i don't know what these other parts are no, there's the front and back of the blower. I don't know what this is right here. But anyway, there's your chrome parts. Again, this, this kit doesn't have many parts. Just like three engines, uh, three sets of headers. All right, so here are your um, bell housings. What I was saying earlier about how one feeds into the other. So here's a scatter shield bell housing for the first engine. So this is going to be this engine right here. The very first one is going to have this bell housing. It's going to have a shaft that runs under the second engine and it, it will tie into the second one. And then it has a drop box. It'll have a drop box. You see they get t progressively taller. Here's the third one because they're stacked. But um, yeah, that's how that works. Not that I'm an expert, but I have watched enough pulling in my, my days. Oh, here's his helmet. I'm glad we've got that. We wouldn't want his head to get hit, to get hurt. There's the steering wheel, the mag wheels for the front, and there's a screwdriver, flat, Phillips, hammer, crescent wrench, ratchet, a couple of things, I don't know what these are, and two open end wrenches, and some other, um, there's your fuel tank, Not, nice chrome tree, and then we'll look at the, uh, this is the, the bummer, this is the true bummer here. Um, the bummer with this kit is that it doesn't it doesn't really have front or rear tires like the box shows or what a tractor would have you on, usually on your pulling tractors you would have actual tractor tires in the front because those things would really grip side to side so you get great steering and the rear is an actual tractor tire but what they did and i can understand why amt did this because that's what they had but the tire they used looks like it's off of like a 1960 Chevy something, you know, it's, it's just a, uh, just a, just a bias ply. Um, it does it, it, however, it is, um, I can lighten this up a little bit and get the darn thing to focus. The treads are just straight treads, but nowhere near does it resemble a tractor tire. That's okay that's okay i'm sure you can find tractor tires online and the rear tires are not your um actual pulling tires they're a, the tire that they used in the monster truck uh, kits the bigfoot the usa one the destroyer and other kits like that i think it was the destroyer um amt produced they had it just has those those tires it's got something in here it's got a piece of oh the big disc the big brake disc so you can imagine it would still look really cool with let me grab one of the the wheels the wheels are cool too because they're they're an actual chrome chrome wheel oh you know what's cool too that that's interesting and maybe maybe y'all didn't know this 
so it fits in there so it would be like it, it would still it would still look would look mean interestingly enough on the monster trucks this is the inner wheel inner side of the wheel they didn't use the big see it's, this is really big and then you've got the regular 24 inches or whatever it is um for the uh the actual rim we're on this tractor instead of them to, for them to try and get a more realistic look of the big gigantic wheel they just decided to use the inside portion of the tire and you get this nasty looking a you know this is the detailed side of the tire here the detailed side of the tire has all the specifications of the tire size the 66 inch terra tire and all that and then let's see if i can read the size 66 by 43 by 20 i can't tell but so instead they they just chose to uh make the this wheel fit the inside section of the tire so you would have more of that look oh well that's okay and what was missing out of the kit that tony mentioned he thinks at least was missing and, and I'm pretty sure he's right, is the, it's a, it's a wheel weight. I don't know where the darn thing even goes. Maybe it goes, but it's a wheel weight. I'll get the instructions out and let me take a quick look. But there's only one of these. So it would need, we'd need a second one of those to make it complete. Yeah, so it's the outside wheel weight. So it would actually have mounted like this you don't have to have it but that's where it would have been it would have been on the outside just like that so it's missing one of those that would be easily casted right there and uh shoot some chrome paint on it but it is a, it is a cool kit um thank tony for letting me let me get it from him very rudimentary very simple oh wow yeah i forgot about the decals but check these decals out and they're in wonderful shape blazing bison tells you rear engine front engine frame um master i don't know if this there's a lot of european tractors and i don't know that's just meester meester brew i don't know what meester brew is is that some sort of beer i, I ain't got a darn clue it looks like it might be some sort of beer it almost looks like a hop or a barley um meester brew and then all the uh, contingency stickers there. But these these decals are, and I want to give a special thanks to um, where is it? At? I want to give a special thanks to Bill Weber. Thanks, Bill. You make all this possible. I'm just joking. But some really really glossy and nice decals. Somebody took care of this. Didn't have it in a lot of in a lot of moisture. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching this quick video. I was excited to get it. This probably will turn a lot of people off because they're like, it's a tractor. No, nah, man, it's a pulling tractor. It's a race tractor. My friend Troy Roberts, that is an admin on the Facebook group, his brother actually pulls professional, is a professional um, tractor pull, or tractor uh, puller, or whatever you want to call him. He has a single... Um, a single engine it's like it's a supercharged uh, I think Troy said it may have started life as a Dodge but anyway it's um, I saw a video of it too cool I couldn't imagine manhandling one of those things it would be very fun but they're loud when you go to a tractor pull if you ever see a just one of these will almost blow your eardrums. Um, one of them, I couldn't imagine. I've never seen a multiple engine tractor um, pull in person. I'd love to do that. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. Um, as boring as it may be, I think that it's so cool. And uh, I think the ones that, um, that, that like tractor pulling will also appreciate this. But thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to uh, go check out our, our Facebook group where I was mentioning where Troy is one of the admins. Go uh, join there. Thank you for all of you guys, you 2000, over 2,000 members in the Model Car Videos Facebook group. 
um, have a great time over there. There's so much information that's passed along. So many great builds. So many great builders are in a, in our, our group. So thank you for that. Go um, join that. It's linked in the description below. And don't forget to go to Hobby Nut Models. Um, that's where I would go to get the paint and supplies to build this kit. And also, don't forget to go to the Teespring store. I have t-shirts, hoodies, coffee mugs, stickers, and other things there. And to my Patreon supporters, you are the greatest. Thank you so much for your support, uh, your financial support in my pa at Patreon. And if you're interested in being a financial supporter of mine, it doesn't co it's cost five dollars a month, and you can be a Patreon, and I'll provide you with uh, behind the scenes and uh, things that other people don't get. Um, quite as often on YouTube. So thank you guys for all that you do. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hey, we will see you on the next video. You guys take care. Bye.